There's what I call a classic, just about perfect otter set, pinched in. Got another one up the creek there, about 20 yards or so. Kind of a challenge. It's my challenge. We're going to talk about that in just a minute. I'm D.W. Verts. They call me Dale. I'll be back in just a minute. We'll talk about this. Nineteen degrees, wading the creek in central Missouri. What's that mean? <laughs> it means I'm nuts. Whatever. I'm doing what I've done for most of my life. I'm trying to catch some critters, and that's what I want to talk about. I'm really disappointed in myself. I'm disappointed in the situation. I don't want this to be a negative deal. Most of y'all, the trappers, are gonna understand where I'm coming from on this. I ain't been trapping much this winter, several reasons. I got some aches and pains, and man, setting these body grips has been hurting. I've only got four of them set. I may do a couple more. I'm 20 miles from home, 40 mile round trip, for no money, fairly limited catches because I'm trapping mostly for otter. There were some beaver sticks down here, but I'm not gonna pinpoint beaver on purpose. I'm trying to catch these otter. I caught a bunch of them down here last year. Folks were unhappy about them. Of course, you can never catch them all. It'd be, that would be a neat challenge to see how many I could catch trapping, you know, 30 miles a creek or so. But I ain't got it in me anymore. That's probably the biggest problem I have is I just, I don't have the gumption. And the money part, you can't help but no money's part of it. Nobody else is trapping. I bought my first truck, my first boat. Put my first down payment on a house and made a lot of house payments with trapping money in the 80s. A couple times ever, fur prices have come up a little bit. Nothing major, but not like this. But I don't make it about the money because money just doesn't work for me. I'm, I've never had any and I'm, not, I'm old enough to understand how the world works mostly. I'd like to have more money sometimes, but maybe not. But setting these traps just now, I have not set very many traps at all this year, is fun. It's, I'm cold, my fingers got cold, didn't bring my gauntlets. Um, <laughs> I get cold easier than I used to also. But it's still exciting, I'm hoping. I got good points pinched down, trying to use my knowledge and some things in the area that's working for me. These tree, creeks are hard to trap, they're real shallow, they're rocky. But you can pinch critters in, so it's a challenge, exciting. But it ain't what it used to be. And I hope it ain't just about the money. I always get something out of that right there. It's just gorgeous, even being cold and snow on the ground. And it's just beautiful. The water's clear and flowing. God's nature, that's just this is where I'm supposed to be. Hunting and fishing and trapping. That's, that's been my life. I've wasted most of my life, maybe. But that thing this winter that <sighs> priorities now work. One time this week, I worked 42 out of 48 hours. Valentine's Day, smoking meat and working for that. After two nights of sleep, I finally feel kind of caught back up. I'm too old for that. But priorities. Many times in my life, trapping has been my primary goal in life. I mean, I look forward to it. Think I still think about it year-round. Looking at things, looking at situations, seeing where critters go. Been a few times in my life bow hunting with my stick bows, my old wood bows, wood arrows. That's been a priority. I still love that. I don't do it. It's not a priority anymore. But fishing has been the love of my life almost as long as trapping. Well, I fished before I trapped, but serious fishing. And this winter, uh, except for one little short cold month there fishing has been a priority. It's going to continue that way I'm not going to stop uh, Next week's going to be 50 60 and 70s. I'm fishing So I feel bad about it. I feel horrible Because I am the last man standing. I don't know another trapper in this county there. There are some I saw a post on Facebook uh, I think a guy friend of me from Sedalia next county over who's trapping, mostly to protect her turkeys, which is a good reason to trap. 
feel kind of get last guy out here. I kind of feel guilty. It's, it's, and I feel kind of ignorant. Why am I the last guy? Think about that for a minute. Over the years, one of the biggest issues that trappers have had is with other trappers. We all whine and complain about it. When you're out there trying to catch fur, and somebody else is there too, trapping pressure. One year, a buddy of mine were trapping up towards Kansas City and uh, several, several farms were on these farms and that morning we watched two other vehicles check three culverts running traps around us off the road. <laughs> That's pressure. We're on 180 acre farm there surrounded by trappers. We're trying to catch them too. I'm not gonna say I miss that. I sure don't miss the traps and fur getting stolen. Of course I had it happen here last year by not by a trapper, somebody just stole a trapping a critter because they're a-holes and the world's full of them but there's absolutely nobody that i know of on these creeks anymore there's a trapper that lives down the road here about a mile i don't he hadn't trapped in years i think uh i caught something like 16 times more otter last year than anybody else in this county checked in I'm not so sure I'm not leading again now and I haven't hardly caught any. That's not a good thing. It, that's not a win for me. Of course, again, too many trappers is a problem. We used to do trapping clinics and trapping schools. And I got burned out on that stuff, but we have 50, 60 people, over 100 a couple times that are trapping get-togethers at our schools, and I don't even go anymore for different reasons. But no fur buyers. It's it just, I don't know. Is it dead? I swore it would never die in my lifetime, but is it dead? The antis finally got us in the coyote thing. I've trapped one coyote this year, one mud ball coyote that wasn't rubbed up. It had good fur, but it was rubbed up, too warm, whatever. No bobcats. I trapped six nights on that one video, and it was kind of as much to do a video as anything. There's been no bobcat seen on that property, so I need to move on down the road. You got to move. You got to keep going. I don't, I don't keep going anymore. But look at this. Look at that beautiful, clear, spring-fed creeks. It's chilly out here, but it's not cold. I'm good. I'm gonna go down the creek. I, I, I don't want to drive. I don't have time to go 40 miles round trip every day and drive way off in the woods and walk long distance up and down the creek. I did too much of that last year for what I caught. I caught 11 otter down here, and only two. Oh, one beaver. <laughs> I was trapping more specifically for otters. I don't know if a few years ago I could have told you that's possible. But these traps here are specific for otter. Otter can be a long wait sometimes. I usually catch uh, six or seven beaver for every otter. Concentrate more on beaver. Last year I had 19 otter and 11 beaver. <laughs> That's good numbers, so I'm trying to get the otter. The folks down here are sick of them. They're getting, well, people all the state are sick of them. They're getting into the uh, ponds. They wipe these creeks out, and there's no end to it. And I'm feeling guilty about it, like it's my fault. Not my fault. I'm not the one to stock them, not the one to stock the wrong otter for our state. Boy, it's gorgeous. I'm going to see if there's another place here close by to put another set or two in. Because multiple sets have taught people for years is the answer. Hopefully we'll do some good. And we'll do some good quickly because I, I can't be coming down here every day. 40 mile round trip. But they've offered to pay me. I hate taking money. I feel wrong. I did ADC work before. I feel wrong taking money for trapping. And plus I told them you can't afford me. You could not afford to pay me to do this way it needs to be done. I'd have to hit it so hard and for so many days they, they couldn't afford it. So anybody got any answers to what I'm trying to talk about here, I appreciate it. I'm still doing it for the love of it. I hope I never quit setting trap. I missed one year in, in last whatever, 25, not setting traps at all. Had a broken leg and bought a business and had all kinds of good excuses. I tell you how pretty it is out here. Thank you guys for watching. A lot of guys watch my trapping stuff. I really appreciate that. Um, I, I just meander around and wander around. I'm not trying to 
show you by the world i'm trying to show you my world maybe and that's my world look at that isn't that beautiful beautiful <laughs> guys i'll talk to y'all later god bless let me know what you're thinking